Okay, so anyway, we got our two pieces of uh, threaded nylon. We put uh, the bolts, uh, 5 16 bolts on each side, and we're going to start constructing our cell. So we'll take that uh, again. So we got the bolts on the outside, and then just like the instructions say, we're going to take the nylon washers, put one of those in between, take another plate, put that just like so, and again we'll check to make sure it doesn't short out anywhere, and I think that's going to be pretty snazzy. After that, we'll put on a couple more bolts. This is probably the most exciting part of putting together your cell. Oops, wait a second. I forgot. Where's my eye protection? Okay, there we go. Got our eye protection. That was close. Almost didn't make it. Always remember, you gotta have your eye protection. Most
couple changes that I made uh, after I built the cell I realized that I was using uh, 10 gauge copper wire and just like zero fossil fuel the smack um, Sir hoax and probably a bunch of other people out there that they don't do that because the copper will corrode and put stuff in your electrolyte so uh, at the last minute uh, after I completed the video I changed stopped uh, went through made a change to the cell and instead of using copper wire I used uh, stainless steel and uh, shrink wrapped it and I also cleaned my plates and then I used latex gloves because I didn't want to get oil on my plates or anything and then uh, for the end cap if you can see that what I ended up was drilling uh, 5 sixteenths uh, well just below a 5 sixteenths I can't remember the size but it was smaller than 5 sixteenths and then I tapped a 5 sixteenths thread in there and then that allowed me to uh, let me see that allowed me to for this bolt right here to screw that in and it's got the bolt the lock washer and then a regular washer and then it goes up through the end cap has another regular washer and then the bolt and it uh, it just gives a, a little bit more uh, solid foundation so as you can see uh, yeah I need to need to work on my measuring skills but uh, for the first cell I'm pretty pleased um, and again it ends up uh, fitting in quite nicely like making ice cream except it doesn't take as long and so anyway, that's the that's the cell, and you can see and the distance between um, the bottom of the cell and that right there is about one inch. And then with the uh, the convex uh, end cap that's going to be on here, there's going to be a little bit more room. But I'm going to dry fit this in my vehicle to ensure that it fits before I glue it all up. And of course, I'll be throwing it into some distilled water and do some tests on it and see what kind of production to get and figure out how to measure amps because I don't know how to do that so <laughs> we'll, we'll figure out how to, how to do that. Uh, I've already blown one multimeter but it was a cheapie somebody gave it to me and uh, so anyway but hey there's Harbor Freight right so anyway I also ended up getting a drill press so that's going to help um, with uh, instead of using the hand drill and kind of being all over the place this will give me a little bit more precision, uh, kind of like everybody else out there except for me. So we'll see what happens. But anyway, that's it, and we'll catch you on the next video. Peace.